So I just shot a test video with the uh, Hero 4 to see if it would work, and yep, worked fine. Like I said, there's cosmetic damage to it, but who really cares, right? How's it going, guys? It is currently Sunday, the 28th of July. About to roll into August, eh? Frig summer went by quick. My goodness. But then again, time flies when you're on this weird shift I'm on because, uh, yeah, it seems when I'm on days, time lags. When I'm on nights, time flies. It is what it is. But anyway, what I want to do tonight is I got to do some cleanup. I got to do some laundry. I got to do some dishes. I got to compact some boxes I <sighs> found out blue box day or recycling day or whatever you want to call it was last Thursday so I got two more weeks well a little bit under two weeks of boxes in my house that got to go out which is fine I can do that uh, later on not a big deal um, it's not like I use that space downstairs for anything important anyway, so whatever. So, what I was thinking is I got some ribs in the fridge. Apparently, the Instant Pot can make them really succulent. So I've heard through a video that I watched on the internet. Right now, actually, I'm uh, currently watching uh, the um, uh, Linus Tech Tips. Is it Linus up there? No, it just says the name of the video. Uh, they're trying to fix this iMac that they bricked on a, uh, on a show. They're taking the screen off off and shorted out the power supply blew the motherboard and dropped the screen and out of fear so they've been fighting with apple to get parts they got parts now they're putting it all back together so i was uh originally today going to say let's make some ribs and do some house cleaning and i was going to use the gopro hero 4 but i forgot the skeleton case i bought for it isn't supposed to do this it's not supposed to all the way come up what happened was it broke right here uh, a while back doing a whatever video, probably the same video that broke the GoPro to begin with, with the weed whacking. Um, all the vibrations caused the GoPro to, I don't know, move around a lot and shatter the case. And and the worst part is, is this is not a clone knockoff case. This is the official branded GoPro case. And I paid a good penny for this. This was about $34.99 at Walmart and could it be fixed with some jb weld and maybe some crazy glue probably would it last definitely not because i already see a couple other fractures in the plastic it's mainly at the thin parts eh? like uh if you look right there it's not going to focus on it but right there that wants to break too now like it's already got a crack there and it's like i never even really use the damn thing I used it in a couple driving vlogs i used it in a couple Lawnmower vlogs, not a big deal, so it's a piece of crap. They should have made that out of aluminum, which brings me to what I just found on Amazon. Look at this GoPro Hero 3 4 case. It's got the case, it's got the lens cover, and it's got a little mount on the top so you can mount like a Rhodes mic or something to it. And there you go, aluminum case for the GoPro Hero 3 4 with 37 millimeter UV skeleton housing with microphone mic mount for gopro hero three four uh silver three black whatever they'll put any name in there just to get somebody to buy it but look at that price 27.99 and it's prime you know it's ridiculous i paid like what almost eight dollars more for the gopro original that's an aluminum case that's not going to break that easily <coughs> this is what i need so and it has a mic attachment, so if I decided to be like some of the people out there that I watch on YouTube, uh, there's a couple of people who vlog with the GoPro Hero 4, but they just use the Hero 4's internal mic, which it's okay as long as there's no wind or no fan running or no nothing, because that microphone is super, super, super sensitive to any slight breezes. Just messes the audio right up but i do have well it's kind of a long mic and the camera would see it and i don't know if i'd want to go that route but um they do sell some cheaper smaller mic on um on amazon by the same brand i think that one i have is tax star or task car or whatever but it's long like um on the dslr it was fine because the lens stuck out further than the mic so you never got the, the mic on it but when I tried to use it on my Sony camera, you could just see the top of the sponge. Like right here in the camera, like right here would be like the top of the sponge. Unless I zoomed it in just a tad, then you didn't. But it was kind of a pain in the arse. But it did give good audio. Um, 
but I do like vlogging with this cannon. I'm just saying like it'd be nice to have this mount so I can mount it in the truck when I'm doing driving vlogs and um, if I want to run a microphone off of it for inside the car audio I could easily do that through the side ports because they're not blocked by bullshit so that's a good sign but anyway people I'm just sitting here I need to uh, get up and get moving got some laundries to do got some cleaning to do some cooking to do some eating to do it's gonna be a good day What are you doing? What are you doing, kitty cat? Oh, yum yum meows. She has been extra sucked. Um, been interesting because before she never wanted anything to do with me, and now she just wants the pets and the loves. It's funny. Like I would, I'd be sitting there. Like I get out of the shower and I go upstairs, and she chases me upstairs, and then gets on top of her box. And just starts murping at me. So I pet her and she's happy and let me go about her business. So anyway, I'm going to get the ribs started first because they're going to take about 30 minutes. For, yeah, got some work to do in the ribs. So uh, I'll be back. Okay, so here be the ribs I'm going to use. It was a special sale. Um, product of the USA. Apparently I'm not supposed to buy that anymore because fucking stupid trade wars and shit. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to cut these open. Um, you know what might be easier? Cut it right down the middle. Probably should have flipped it over. I'm damaging all the top meat by doing this, but whatever. It's going to all go in my belly anyway. All right, let's get this thing out. But I'm going to have to wash them anyway because I'm handling pork. And when you handle pork, you should always wash your hands. Pork, chicken, any meat free. One guy, the way I watched the video is he took off some membrane under here and... I'm assuming he's talking about this piece of skin right here, but that's not coming off, so I don't really care about that. But what I am going to do is chop these sea suckers in half, if it'll let me. There we go, beauty plan. And what I want to do is I want to get, okay, so to the instant pot, look at the blood in that, hey, beauty. To the instant pot, I'm gonna add two cups of water, and I hope I still have some in here. Yes, I do. Some apple cider vinegar, which is still good. Beauty. Um, I'm gonna add a quarter of a cup of this snot. Everybody I've seen do this online, they all added um, apple juice. I can't add apple juice because of the sugar, unless I found a sugar free version, but even then, it's probably asking too much. Uh, something else I'm gonna add to it. Just to give it a bit of flavor. I was thinking some Worcestershire sauce if I can find it. Because this shit here has no carbs. Actually has just sodium. And I need sodium. Let's see if I can open the freaking bottle. <clears throat> so, the old Worcestershire sauce. Put a couple of splashes of that in there. Now I've seen people do a dry rub with these, but I'm not going to bother with that. I am going to use this. This came with the Instant Pot because I watched people put the ribs in the Instant Pot and then when it comes time to taking the ribs out, they can't because they grab it with tongue and the bone just falls off the meat and the meat falls back into the pot. So I'm hoping this thing here will help it pull the meat back out. So that just goes in the Instant Pot there, beauty plan. And uh, let me see if I can somehow give you guys an angle on how I'm going to load this into the pot. I'm totally skipping a step. Okay, I got it on saute right now and the lid's off. I want to heat up the contents so that it blends with the lid off before I chuck it in there. But you can see that little tray thing in the bottom. And I'm going to pressure cook these, so don't worry, that water is going to rise because when the pressure's on, so is the water or something like that. And then uh, it should steam and penetrate the, uh, the ribs. And be pretty freaking good so we'll let that get up the par and then uh, we'll go from there should be awesome alrighty she's getting up the temperature I'm starting to see some activities in there so this is good so we're gonna go ahead and hit cancel turn it off then we're gonna grab these ribs and what I'm gonna do is take it and lay it down like that and we'll get our other flank of ribs right here Add it to the other side. Now as you can see this thing here is going to help lift them out when they're cooked. Okay, so our ribs are in there. Everything looks good. 
Let's go ahead and seal it up. Uh, I'm going to into place here. I got you on backwards. What's going on? There we go. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to hit meat. Uh, we'll leave it there. We'll increase the pressure level to high pressure. Okay, we'll let her fire and then we'll check on her after. See, this is a problem with where I got the pressure cooker, right? I, I can't open and close this cupboard. I wish they, that, that's one big thing I don't like about this pressure cooker is the plug-in wire they gave you for it is only like maybe a foot and a half, like 30 centimeters, maybe 40 centimeters long, kind of shit, where I'm pretty sure because it has the D, uh, D bracket on the back, the cable gauge is a lot thicker than one for a computer, but I'm gonna grab an old computer cable that I have that uh, I got with, well, I have the one upstairs that I got with the uh, Cyber PC. I'm gonna grab that cable, plug it in there, and see, because what I wanna do is sit it right here next to the, uh, the air fryer. Of course, that takes up camera space for me doing these cooking videos, but um, we'll figure that out. Worst case, Ontario. Oh no, that's over there. I, before we had this convectional, I got a lot of cleanup to do guys, I know. But before we had this convectional oven here, I used to do my cooking videos over here. And what I would do is pull out this wooden cooking board, which is falling apart. And I would sit the camera on here. What is going on in here? What are you doing? What, like, is that what you're doing? Were you just attacking that or is there something else in the house? So ferocious. Just just so ferocious. But anyway, that's what I used to do. Like when I did the cooking with the hobo chili and that, uh, it was all done over here. No guys, those eggs are empty. I need to go out to the garage and take my trash out. That's something that has to be done today. As well as break down these boxes and put them into Cardboard Mountain, which scampers every time she walks by, she gets sad because look at all the toys she could have played with. Lots of toys, but these will go out at the side of the road. If not, if I ever get around to doing a garage cleanup when I do my oil drop off, because I got a bunch of used motor oil in there. It's got to go to the recycling center. Um, I'll bring the cardboard with me in the box of the truck and we'll recycle that too. But uh, anyway, I'm going to get cracking on some dishes. Uh, this thing's going to take a while, so we'll check on it when it's done. And then, uh, freaking dinner, boys. I'm starved. I'm not sure how well this is going to work. Got a different angle on the situation. I'm just going to be doing dishes. But uh, I have a feeling, guys, we're going to have to do a grocery run tonight because um, yesterday when I went to Food Basics to pick up, uh, well, the ribs that are being cooked now, plus I picked up some bacon because I was out and some cheese because I was running low and some heavy cream because I was running low. I forgot to pick up something really important for my lunches this week. I even picked up a huge ass pack of beef, which I think I screwed up and put in the uh, freezer, which is not good, very bad, because I kind of sort of need it. I wanted to make a huge ass beef crack slaw for the week, just so I had beef crack slaw ready and I could have five days of lunches without having to worry about coming home and making something for lunch. I think the term for that is called meal prep. I could be wrong, but um, stupid dumb dumb me, didn't remember to grab a head of cabbage, cauliflower. I got broccoli, but I might grab another couple uh, strands of it because I'm making enough to make five batches. And yeah, screwed up. That's the way she goes. Careful, dishwashing drying ninja. So we're gonna have to take a rip over to um, either Freshco. I just checked with Google there and. She says both of them are open till nine. It's currently almost seven. We may have to let these ribs sit and shit while we take a rip over to the grocery store to get the stuff for Crackslaw. This Instant Pot tonight, it's earning its paychecks or its cost, its value. Because not only is it cooking my meal now, it's cooking my meal later too. You know, some people ask me, so now that you got the Instant Pot, are you getting rid of the air fryer? No, are you kidding me? Honestly guys, if you're a bachelor, living on your own and you don't live the lifestyle where you always go out to eat and you just want to eat at home and make meals I'm gonna say right now before I said the the um, air fryer is all you ever needed well I'm changing that if you can get yourself a good air fryer and a good instant pot you're in it to win it like anything you can't do in the air fryer you can easily do it in an instant pot like people with those tiny 
tiny apartments in Toronto, if they don't have an Instant Pot or an air fryer and they're doing everything with kitchen appliances, man, uh, where am I going? Where am I going? Where, where am I going? I don't know how they get through the day. I don't even know why I own glasses. I never use the damn things. People who, um, definitely bachelors, we don't have the time to cook. Like I don't really have a lot of time to cook in a day. Now when I do, I usually make a video about it. You know, I'm sick and tired of drying and putting stuff away after I wash it. I'm just gonna grab this stupid thing, let them sit and spin. Got some tomfoolery to do. All right, we're good. Oh, it's the bowl I made my bread in. Take a bowl I made my bread in. Oh, fuck. I forgot to set this thing to lock the pressure in. Jesus, it's murky. Whoops. Okay, why is it? Oh, oh. Oreo, get out of here. God. He's... It's a pain in the ass, the dog. He's always like, gotta be right there. Stay over there, I'm gonna step on you again. I don't know why the pressure valve isn't closing on the pressure cooker. It's kind of a pain in the ass. So one of the questions I've been asked since I started this diet is, Adam, what food do you miss the most? I'll tell you right now, I miss rice. Man, do I ever miss rice. Like going to the Chinese restaurant and buying some chicken fried rice or bacon fried rice or any kind of fried rice. I miss that shit, man. Can't have it. It's a green. Can't have greens. So, you gotta make do with not having it, right? And that's how it is with diets. You gotta make sacrifices. At least I can still have, sort of have chocolate. And I say sort of have chocolate because the only chocolate I'm allowed to have is that 85% or higher cacao shit. Or coca or whatever the hell it's called. Anything less than way too high in carbs. But if you can get your mitts on Baker's chocolate and you can sweeten it with stevia if you melt it, you can make some pretty delicious treats that are low carb. Okay, good, the pressure valve finally closed. Man, do you guys remember that YouTuber, Ray William Johnson, from way back in the day? He was like the number one, ooh, the bubble! Bubble! He was like one of the most subscribed YouTubers on the show called Equals 3 where he would literally just make fun of people's videos and because other people were doing stupid shit and he would profit from their stuff. He was like a real big YouTuber. A lot of people liked him and stuff. Well, when he used to do his video vlogs, they're pretty basic. Like he would actually sit there and film himself doing what I'm doing now. Doing dishes and running the vacuum in the house. Mind you, I don't really do that very often and proofs in the pudding. But, um, you know, it's kind of funny that he actually got a lot of people to watch him do the dishes. And I, I think that's humorous myself. Um, you probably don't understand why. It's like, well, fuck, I'm doing choring over here. And you're watching me chore. But chances are, like, when I watched Ray William Johnson do his dishes, it reminded me that, oh, fuck, I got a sink downstairs full of dishes. I should probably get after that. But I didn't, I just watched him do his, and then I got sidetracked and went and did something else, you know? God, I love these brushes that spew out soap, but sometimes they just don't spew it enough. Cause I just fell in the pit. We're getting down to the nitty gritty of voices. What I think I might have to do is put some socks on, and we're gonna have to take a rip over to the grocery store. While we let this take cook. What was that? Oh, the timer just turned on. Look, say, don't tell me. Look at all the bubble! Don't tell me it's already done. Man, wooden spoons are the suck. I'm also doing a test on the camera because back in the day the, the Canons had this issue where they could only record for 10 minutes at a time and then they would shut off. And I want to see what this one does, mainly because I know some people out there want to know because they also use Canon cameras for vlogging and probably never push her to the limit to really see what it would do. Mental note, when using a wooden spoon, clean it right after you use it. Don't fuck around. We're golden. We'll let that drip dry. Oh man, I am sweating being too close to that Instant Pot and the fact that it's warmer than shit down here. Let's let that cook and we'll probably head off at the grocery store. All right guys, I'm using the GoPro right now, the Hero 4, just to see how she do. We're gonna put it in the truck and do a quick little rolling video. You won't be able to hear me because I got this hard case for it, right? Um, like I've never used this thing. I, can't, I don't know where my keys are. Back upstairs we go. But like this case is so new that the plastic is still 
like the peelable plastic still onto it because I've never used this. I always use the skeleton case with this for the maybe eight videos I made with the GoPro Hero 4. And I remember I was going to make it into a vlogging camera using a microphone and a tripod or a monopod and all that. But that got scrapped. Where are my, there are my keys. Nice to have an actual somewhat clean desk again, let me tell you. So, let's uh, head out to the truck. Go to the grocery store real quick. Get some cracks lost stuff. And then come back and those ribs are done. So, we'll let them sit and stew. Which is fine for them. I just realized this is not the right case for the GoPro. This is for some cheap Chinese cam. Look, two buttons on the side. I was trying to jam it in there and I'm like, why won't it fit? Then I realized, not the right case. Where the hell did this case come from? Okay, let's try this again with the broken skeleton case. That's all I got. I can't find the actual hard case. We're running out of time and I gotta get some cracks in this. Let's get out there and get out. Okay, people, we're back. This thing's been sitting here. Let's go ahead and cancel that. Cancel that. There we go. And let's pop the lid. And let's have a look-see. Okay, yeah, that looks actually pretty nice. I think that turned out well. Ooh, that's going to just fall right off. Good thing I put these things in. Even though I'm going to need two hands to take these out. Burb! Okay, don't get me wrong. These things are falling apart. So what I might do is I might nail them in the air fryer now and uh, get them all baked, I guess. People usually put them in the oven after this. They'll coat them in season or uh, some sort of a barbecue sauce. I don't have one that doesn't have sugar, so I'm not gonna. We'll just put them in the old air fryer here and we'll see what we can do. Man, I need a new tray for this thing. Don't know if this is a good idea. I got the monopod attached to a dollar store tripod and it seems to be holding up, but let me, maybe that's a little. Seems to be holding up. Hopefully I don't destroy this camera third vlog in. I'm just gonna message on here. Somebody's asking for a review of a product I purchased on Amazon. Okay, so guys, just got back to the grocery store. Okay, yeah, you saw what I did out there. When I was leaving the grocery store, I friggin' hopped the lane. I don't know what the hell happened. My steering wheel would not turn. Like, I was going to turn and it locked, and then I literally armstronged it and pulled it, and then I had to like loop back, I, whatever. If the truck's gonna break, break now while it's under warranty, right? Anyway, quick shopping, God stops. Buy two bags of pork rinds, cause I freaking love pork rinds. Bought some salami for snacking. This stuff is actually really good for you too. Um, eight grams of protein, no carbs, zero carbohydrates, and um, eight grams of fat. Salami, man, freaking awesome. Been craving some chocolate lately, so I bought myself a 90% cacao bar. You can only have like three or four squares out of it, and then you're at your limit. It contains per three squares, nine grams of carbs, four of that is fiber. So it actually contains five net carbs, uh, 16 grams of fat, and three grams of protein. Good shit. 
good shit. Yeah, man. Some salted almonds because, well, yeah. Uh, here's the macros for you. I can only eat like 23 of these a day, but there's the macros. Not too bad, not too bad. They actually uh, suggest almonds and or sunflower seeds and or macadamians. They had the bacon, the Swift bacon on sale, so I grabbed myself a package. Information if you give a flying shit, you probably don't, but if you do, there it is. Grabbed another pack of broccoli for the uh, crack slot tonight. Grabbed a whole head of cabbage, product of Canada, they made sure to put that on the label, for the crack slot tonight. And last but not least, a whole friggin' head of cauliflower plant of it for the crack slot tonight. It's gonna be good. So before I make the crack slot, I wanna eat my dinner. And I got about 10 minutes left on the clock, so we'll let that pitter patter and have at her. I'm gonna go edit up the vlog right now and see what we got. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay, vlog's all edited up, but not anymore, so I'm filming again. But uh, that air fryer's gotta be done doing its shite. So let's go have a look, see? See what we got for noms tonight. Yo, yo, yo. Damn. After they got roasted. And the old fryer of oxygen here. They look really good. Mm-hmm. This one fell apart on me, but whatever. Chuck them all on the plate. And now I'm gonna go wait. That's right, people. All I'm having is ribs tonight. No veg. Which is probably not the smartest move. I'll probably eat something green after, who knows. Or maybe something brown, like chocolate. Hey guys, well it's about 11 o'clock at night. Church and I played a little bit of PUBG. How the fuck did you do? That he had to go to bed because he's got to be up bright and early for work tomorrow. But I got to be up bright and late. So, works out for me. I'm going to let the dog out and then uh, we're going to have to get started on that crack slaw. And change out the laundry. Yeah. So the other day this helmet shows up and it's sitting out there on the hanging thing which Oreo's leash is attached to. And I'm like, what the heck? Why do I have a helmet sitting out there? This is a helmet that Rex 4x4 won on some dollar bid auction site on Facebook. Turns out it's too big to fit his dome. So he asked me if I wanted it. It's got like closing vents up top and I think it's a Skidoo helmet. I'm not 100% certain because it's got some interesting features inside. Like it's got a face mask inside so you're Unlike the one that's in here, you, when you breathe, it doesn't throw your breath onto the visor, so it doesn't fog it out in the winter, which is kind of cool, but uh, yeah, it just drops it off, says you want a helmet? Free, take it. And it fits perfectly, because I have a big stupid head. So that makes what? Three helmets and no motorcycle. <laughs> nice. Well, I got the mini bikes for now. I don't know. I've been contemplating on selling them. I don't know where my dog went. Wow, does it ever reek like campfire out there, people? Just tanks. Just. Nope. I just heard him come back and do the uh, puppy claw shuffle. Where he's on the pavement and he starts kicking like a donkey. Here's the puppy. Here's the puppy. Say hi to the camera. Say hi to the camera, stupid puppy. He's a puppy. He's a puppy. He's a sniff sniff. Mm -hmm. Sniff sniff. So I gotta take all my laundry out of here and then take all my washed laundry out of the washer, put it into the dryer and run a cycle. Then let's make some crack slaw. Okay, beef is in. I put in a cup of water. You can sort of see it down yonder. I'm gonna go ahead and close her up. Then over here, we're gonna go ahead and hit meat and we're gonna take her down to 20 minutes. And then we're gonna... Everything's good, so we'll just let her chime. Any second now. There she goes. And we'll let her do her thing. Cause there ain't no thing like a crack slaw thing. You thought I was gonna say chicken wing. I bet you did. So while I'm waiting for things to build up the pressure with the pressure cooker, let's go ahead and uh, 
get chapping on some veg. Now I have the $10 tripod with the $1 monopod holding up the $400 camera. I like to gamble with my assets, people. There we go. I'm going to use the whole head. I don't know the easiest way to do this. Probably chop the base of it clean off. Well, that exposed a lot, but not as much as I was hoping for. Let's grab this awesome knife and get in there and hack away a bit more of the stem. Get as much of the leaflets. Oreo, go away. He's doing that thing where he's like right behind me again. He's going to get stepped on. It's because I'm, I'm fucking with food here. And... Okay, so the easiest way to do this is probably from the base. Just chop around. Alrighty, this thing's sounding off, so let's go ahead and turn it off. And then we'll uh, release the Kraken. Like, it's not that it's hot enough in here already, so... Oh man, it smells like beef. Because that's what's in there. I'm going to have to crack a window. Have to unlock a window and crack a window. Put some of this hot air out and cold air in. Woo! I need to do something about this screen because it doesn't quite work. So I don't open up the windows down here because the screens don't fit. When Dum Dum replaced the screens, the previous owner, you just put any old screens in and then bolt them in place. So um, I'm going to have to do some redneck engineering to fix that. But uh, this thing should be done any second now. Wow, it takes a while to vent the plasma, eh? Come on! Don't have all day. Usually as soon as that little metal piece drops, you're good to go. Then we got to break it up and saute it. Should be good. So that's what the ground beef looks like now. Um, why am I seeing pink? Did that not cook? Or is it just the weird coloring of this camera? Oh, there's shit on the lens. Burb. Yeah, that's weird. Over here, it's showing it as pink, and then I move it into the light and it's fine. I don't know what's going on with that. It's not pink. It's all cooked. But I want to saute it and get some of that juice out of there. I could just drain it. And I kind of want to keep those juices. Add some soy sauce to them before I add the veg. And then have that. I'm not going to put broccoli in this, guys. I'm just going to run cauliflower and cabbage like I did last time. So let's go ahead with the soy sauce. Actually, we'll go ahead with the saute. And uh, we'll let that go. And then we'll melt off some of that water. And then uh, add the veg and spices and all that. And it'll be awesome. Probably the only window in the house with screens in it. But I can't open them too much because look what's over there in the corner trying to break out. Yeah. Friggin' scampers. Look at her give you the shit face grin, eh? Look at her. What a cat. Alrighty, I just powered it off and it's still evaporating in there. 
What I'm going to do now is add my soya sauce, beef broth, and all the veg. Stir it all in. I'll show you the final. Okay, I will admit it just looks like there's cabbage and cauliflower in there now. I didn't add any broccoli. And I still have some cauliflower left, which I'm going to save for another day. We'll seal this up. Really seal this up. I don't know what button to press this time around. Um, is there just a button? If I hit pressure cook, what does that do? Okay, well, we're going to do it for... 25 minutes, pressure level, high. I don't know how to make it go to normal. I don't know what that is even. All right, we'll try it there and we'll see what happens when we come down in 25 minutes. All right, let's go. Okay, we're done, so I'll hit cancel down below. Turn that off, we'll come over to the pressure nozzle. Let that vent again. And then when that's all said and done, we'll pop the lid and see what's going on. Sure smells good down here though, can confirm. Look at it. Oh my God, I just fogged up my entire lens. Lovely. But just look at that. Oh my God, that is awesome. Okay. Well, I need to let it sit and cool down a bit before I go ahead and separate it into its own containers. But I can't leave it open because you know what, there was totally room in here for broccoli. Mm, this is going to be great for lunch. Great! So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cover it. Like, kind of... I don't know how I'm going to do this. I want to let it cool down. But I can't leave it uncovered because the cat comes up here, right? Because she just does whatever the hell she wants. So maybe just keeping it off kiltered like that will be enough to let it cool down. Because it's way too hot right now to put it in separate containers. Way too hot. But man, does it smell good. Right on. Anyway, people. We didn't do anything crazy today. We, um... Basically cooked all day pretty much if you think about it. We made ribs. We ate ribs. Ribs were very, 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 very filling. Uh, we made crack slaw. That's going to last me for my lunch all week, so that's great. And that's all I got for you. So I'm going to go ahead and edit this all up into a good video. Hopefully you guys enjoy it, and if you did enjoy watching this video, you know what to do. Click that like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. And until next time, guys, peace the frig out.